all right everyone um welcome back to my channel this is me Paul Ryder here and in this video i want to talk about some of the helpful functions that i really like to use inside my new in configuration so yeah without further ado let's get into it so um if you wonder where my new in configuration is then it's on github github.com slash form writer slash form form vim is the repository that you might want to check out if you like my configuration then you can use any of the parts you like just steal them out you gotta get it now let's get into the video um the usually functions i write inside are inside the module uh, modules files you can get it from here the first function that i wrote is this one like i want to talk about this so this is a function that basically helps me to toggle line numbering you know this one so if i do leader and n it's going to basically cycle through these three states of the line numbering um no number relative number and the uh, numbering right let me uh, quickly show you this in action if i do leader n yeah, it's going to do that yeah now the another one is this one which basically toggles the inlay hint let me show you this in my mappings yeah if i do leader as i it's going to toggle uh, inlay hint you can see here yeah all right now this one so this one's my favorite uh, function that i wrote ever it's going to basically it's similar to what gen mode that nbeam does for me i did not like to use gen mode gen mode uh, plugin just for this because i know what i what settings i want to use in my system and i know what to disable when i don't want so what i did is basically i i basically track the state of the um, of the, of my um flow and then uh if the state is zero which means i want the relative number numbers and sign column to be turned off and else i'm i'm going to be the turning on the relative number and numbers right and the drop bar you know what drop bar means this one i want them to be turned off right so let me quickly show you this in action if i do the later and t and f it's going to act like act like act oh fuck act like um gen mode plugin um yeah and if i again do later tf it's going to the uh, going to do, get to the normal state as it was um now this one's for the um the, the, the indent scope animation you see right here so I can basically do leader, leader means this here, and leader. I think it's let me quickly see in mappings here. Um, yeah. So if I do leader T and B, leader T and B, it's going to disable the line indent scope animation, and leader T B is going to do the same. The right the vice versa yeah um that's it about this now i want to show you another thing which i did it's this one so i'm basically what i'm doing right here is um the options and mappings you need while actually the new room loads right you want the functions you want the mappings to be loaded while you enter the uh, vim ui new vim ui so we can do that to speed up our um spark start sorry startup time uh, using the event which is very lazy right here so i'm um, what i'm doing right here is i'm requiring the options of my final from ops uh here this one's going to be loaded on the startup and this one's going to be loaded when the new vim um, goes into the ui all right now what i'm doing right here is uh sorry yeah what i'm doing right here is i'm basically requiring the options of final state mappings from zonal and mapping from disk 
and list colors and modules from auto cmd i'm requiring auto cmd is once the new vim starts the ui all right um yeah another one is this one um this one basically um loads sada on ui enter it's like um lazy loading sada yeah now another thing that i want to talk about is yeah this one here i'm basically mapping mapping the um, i'm basically mapping this uh keys uh, only when the when any lsp survey attached to the current buffer else there is no this one's uh, becomes blank like uh, this one's going to have no mappings at all um i guess that's it about this and uh, if you find this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye